everybody, we are playing Warframe and we're going to do another prime farm. Let's start by cracking a Miso Relic for the capture mission. Let's do the C6. Okay, you can see we got the Lex Prime Barrel. Let's do another one. Another C6. We got a Lex Prime Barrel again. Lucky us. <laughs> okay, let's do a K3. Can upgrade this one a little bit. And we've got the Ninkondi Prime Blueprint. Now we can go back to IO and get some more relics. Got ourselves a Miso E4. On Cracker Lith Relic in six. Yeah, can't really upgrade this one too well. Let's just leave it. Uh, we got the Torpedo Prime Blueprint, and again we got the Cepha Prime Neuroptics. Another Lith Relic, T4. And we got the Paris Prime Lower Limb. We've already got the Mesa Prime Neuroptics, so we don't need that, even though it's gold. Let's do a D3. And we've got ourselves another D3. Paris Lower Limb, and an Ivara Prime Neuroptics. Paris Prime Handle and Teco Prime Gauntlet. You can see I'm just doing a montage of missions. Uh, so we can build the Bronco Prime now. We've got all the parts for it. So that takes 12 hours to build. Let's kick that one off. You can see the Death Cube Prime is almost complete. We just need the Cerebellum. Or the Cerebrum, sorry. Corinth Prime, nowhere near. Ember Prime Systems, Equinox Prime Chassis, Fang Prime is complete. Uh, it's Mastery Rank 10, so we'll have to wait for that one. We've got all the pieces. Frost Prime Chassis. Ganaris Prime Systems, Ivara Prime Neuroptics. So we've got bits and pieces there. The Cronin I've already built, which is just a standard blade weapon. Now the Mesa Prime I've been heading towards. I've got the Mesa Prime Neuroptics. Now all I need for this one is the systems. Mesa Prime systems, so we might take a look at that later. Ninkondi Prime. Necros Prime Chassis. Orthus Prime. This needs two more blades. Do you remember the old war, Operator? Orda seems to have misplaced those memories. The Redeemer Prime, I just need the handle. So we could look at that. Teco Prime, need two blades and a gauntlet. Torpedo Prime, it's nowhere near. Titania Prime, nowhere near. Uh, now the Vorbin I've been trying to build, I've got the systems here. It's just a standard Vorbin, so I can kick that build off. So he does deadly traps and zap in prison and dimensionally crush enemies, that sounds pretty good. Uh, we've got Wukong Prime Neuroptics, Zephyr Prime Neuroptics, bits and pieces. So we've got Zuge Prime. We're nowhere near that one really. Okay, that's where we're at. Let's crack a Lith Relic. Yeah, let's do the 8 to 10 Lith Defense. It's a bit easier. D D3 Relic. Okay, so we got a Corinth Prime Receiver. And another one, we got a Miso I1 and a Lith D3. And we've got a Dread Blueprint too, which is from killing a Stalker. So we must have killed a Stalker. Lith D3 Relic. Can upgrade this one fully now. 
and we got a Ninkondi Prime Chain. You can see I'm doing all these in groups. The public grouping is switched on. Do a Lith Mobile Defense. D3 again. Seems to be getting a lot of D3 relics. the Condi Prime chain again. <laughs> Alright, let's have a quick look at our loadout. So the Boltor, we've got rank 30 now, that's top rank. Got one more point to spend, we could spend it on Stormbringer or we could spend it on Rifle Aptitude, give us extra status chance, that might be good. Let's go with Rifle Aptitude. One more point. Actually, we do more than one point because it's in a slot. It's in the polarized slot, so I've got up to 75%. Okay. And let's look at the frost. We've got five more points to spend on the frost. We're at max rank. Um, so we could add another mod. I like the um, steel fiber mod to add as well, because that uh, gives us armour. So I've got a 5 pointer there I can add in. 32% armour. It's quite handy. Alright, so back to the foundry. It's 12 hours later we can pick up the Bronco Prime. Let's equip that. Go back to Arsenal. Secondary weapon, let's put the Bronco Prime on. Look at that. Well put together. She's a beauty. Now get out there and so you can see the main damage there the is impact. And to make the Lotus proud. That's 40 impact, mm. so we can probably increase the impact to begin with. Four points. Let's put a 4 point impact mod. So that brings our damage up to 52, which gives us a total. Greater total. 434. Over from here. Time to evacuate. Okay, what do we got? Nothing really. Okay, B7 and N6 relic. So we've done a little bit of leveling on the Bronco now, it's rank 11. So we could increase uh, the concussion rounds, we, we could add damage, let's add the damage mod, Hornet Strike. Gives us 40% more base damage. So that brings us up to 686 total damage. That's pretty good. Okay. Got a few mods left. Sorry, we've got a few relics left. So let's crack another lift. The B7 or the N6? Let's go N6. We've got a Zooj Prime Grip. So don't have that piece. And next time we've got a Mesa Prime Blueprint. We've got a P5 and a T4 relic. That's what we found. Next time we get an N6 relic, an Inneros Prime chassis. Pretty good. Not bad. Down the bottom we got a Ninkondi Prime handle. That wasn't bad. Okay, next time we got a T4 relic. Let's crack the T4. We can upgrade it fully. Give us more chance of some rare drops. We've got an Inneros Prime Chassis and a few more Lith Relics. N5, P4 and P5. What else we got? Inneros Prime Chassis. Yeah, we saw that. And we've got a Sh Stradivar Prime Receiver. Not bad. See, I've hit rank 5 on the mastery rank. 
So, we've got enough time now to pick up the Vorbin. Standard Warframe. Might be fun to try that out at some point. Now Mesa Prime. We just need the systems for the Mesa Prime. So I can show you another way to find Warframe parts if you don't want to farm them. You can go to the you can search for the Warframe market. And go to the Warframe market. This is if you don't mind spending a little bit of platinum. Usually not too much platinum. So if you type in Mesa Prime Systems, which is the piece we need to complete that set. You can see down the bottom here there's all these people who some of them are online in game at the moment and they're selling this piece for 24 platinum. So what you can do is click on the buy button over here, copy this bit of text, which is basically a whisper command, go back into the game and paste with control V, paste that into the Warframe uh, text window and you just ask somebody to buy that piece, they'll invite you to their dojo accept and then you get teleported into their dojo and you can trade the piece nice dojo there's the trade center there ah trading is not allowed on accounts without, without two-factor authentication okay this is something i need to mention um, so you need to enable two-factor authentication on your Warframe account. So we just go back to the search and search for Warframe two-factor authentication. It'll come up and tell you how to do it. There we go. Warframe support. Frequently asked questions. So how does it work? What it is? Blah, blah, blah. I'll scroll down a bit. How do I enable on my account. Here we go. So I enabled it. I went to warframe.com, logged in, and enabled the two factor authentication on my account. And now I've found somebody who can sell that piece to me again. So I have to wait because he's obviously doing a mission right now. So while he's doing that, I might pick up the Heck shotgun, which um, somebody commented to me on uh, YouTube and said, "Oh, check out this shotgun. It's really good. It does look pretty cool." So I'll pick that one up and I might build it and see what it can do. It's got four barrels and it's got a, um, a narrow uh, scatter field, so it's it's pretty accurate for a shotgun. So I've been told, so let's build that one and check it out. Here it is, 25,000. Got all the bits I need. So one day to build. Let's let that tick away in the background. And give that a go. Quite keen to try that one out. So Arcade Z is now ready for me. He's invited me to his dojo. Let's go back in. Alright, another big dojo. So he's trading with me. Got my first time message about trading. I haven't done this before with this character. Okay, so let's uh, put in our 20 Platinums that we uh, found for this character. He was selling for 20. So he's put the piece in and then we accept the trade. He gets the money, we get the piece, everyone's happy. Alright, now we can just escape and leave. So let's check out the foundry now for the Mesa Prime. We should be able to complete this one now. So there's another way of completing Warframes if you get a little bit impatient, like me. <laughs> and you can't be bothered grinding for that final piece, the, the rare drop. You can just buy it if you feel that way inclined. 
If not, you can just get it. You can farm it in game as well. It just takes a bit longer. So let's just uh, let's put on this ephemera that I just got for uh, enabling two-factor authentication. I got this Faypath ephemera. So I'll equip that under attachments, and you'll see as I walk around, I start leaving a little trail of uh, trail of speckles and leaves behind me. It's pretty cool. A little pixie trial happening. Not that I'm a pixie by any stretch of the imagination, but you know, it's a pretty cool effect. You can get a whole series of different ephemeras if you're into that kind of thing. You can spruce up your Warframe a little bit. Okay, the other weapon I want to take a look at is the Com, which is a. Uh, it's listed as a shotgun, but it's more of a. I think it's more of a machine gun I think. And this one sort of like spools up slow and then gets faster and faster. So it's a little bit tricky to use at the start but this one you can rank up really quite nicely. Also with the heck as well, the heck is quite a powerful weapon as well. And this one I'm told is also uh, quite powerful so I want to give that one a go as well. Oh, you can see it's mastery locked, rank 5, so I need to do the rank 5 test first before I can unlock that one. So let's just quickly do the, do the rank 5 test. The early mastery rank tests are pretty straightforward, I think. Tenno are more than just fighters. Prove your intellect by hacking these terminals. Okay, this is a fast hacking one. Let's see how we go. Not too bad at this. We do still have a minute and a half. Okay, there's three others on the corpus side. So the first set was the grenade ones, these are the corpus ones. These complex ones, I do the outside ring first, and then do the inside ring. Seems to work easier. There we go. A formidable performance. This test is now complete. Another job well executed. Thank you very much. Okay, ring five. Now we can buy the uh, comb. I've used this weapon before, it's really quite good. So we'll have a mess around with that one as well. Alright, let's go and build it. Okay, so it needs argon crystals to build that one. So we're off to the void. Argon crystals come from the void. And as I said before, the argon crystals, yeah, there's some. The argon crystals only last for about 24 hours. You have to farm them and use them pretty much straight away. Oh yeah, I picked up three of them. I only really need two, but you know, that's alright. the com. Let's start that one building as well. 12 hours. Okay. Operator, you have remembered well how the Tenno arm themselves. So you can see the Bronco Prime's been ranked up to 22 now. So uh, let's uh, increase these mods a little bit. Let's max this one out. It gives us full impact. Uh, 60%. Might be able to find a better Hornet Strike as well. 
There's a Hornet Strike 9. Oh yeah, I should replace the other one. Okay, so that still leaves us with six points. Uh, the critical chance is six percent, so we could boost that. Alright, let's increase the Hornet first. See how far we can push it. Only one step. 140 percent. The higher up these mods go, the more expensive they are to increase. Operator, Ordis wonders, what are you thinking about? Not thinking about mods, Ordis. Um, so we've got five more points to spend. Let's go for critical. So we've got pistol gambit, gives us critical chance. We do need to boost our critical chance a little bit, we've only got 6%. So let's increase that mod a little bit. Got one more point. 40% increase on the 6%. So that's not a lot. Did you fuse your mods, operator? But it brings us up to brings us up to 8.4%. It's better than 6. Alright, it's a nice looking weapon. Now the Bronco Prime is basically a shotgun, like a short, very short range shotgun, but acts like a pistol, if that makes sense. The Redeemer Prime, I still need a handle for that one. Um, so if you look at the Redeemer Prime wiki page on the Warframe wiki, you can see which relics you need to pick up the handle. So a Neo R3, which is a rare relic. So I'll show you another way to uh, find parts. You can actually buy the relics. So if I look, if I search for Neo R3 on the Warframe market, okay, there's no exceptional ones. But if we just go for a maybe an intact, which is the lowest level, let's go intact, lowest level Neo R3. So you can see someone selling them there for three platinum per relic. So you can actually just buy the relics and then upgrade them and then crack them. So I'll do that just to show you how it's done. Copy that text, paste it into um, Warframe text window. Go to Control V. And I'll just tell him that I need three of these. So they're three platinum each. I need three of them, so that's nine plat. <laughs> I just told him how many. Three please. He's in a thermia fracture. Yeah, we can wait. It's cool. I went off and got some coffee. Okay, let's have a look at these Aetan sculptures, because I picked one up here. This is a good way of getting massive amounts of endo, so I'll just pop some uh, Aetan stars in there. I need three of them. Complete the sculpture. And then we can go and see Maru. There's a button down here. Visit Maru. And she's at the relay. Um, or Maru's Bazaar over here. Let's pop over there. And we can sell the uh, ant hand sculpture to Maru for massive amounts of endo, which is pretty handy. It's endo you use for upgrading your mods. And we want to do a lot of mod upgrading, so. This is going to work out quite nicely. Hey. hey! Welcome to my bazaar! Tenno! Hey Shiny! You know about Endo, right? Extract Those Endo. You use to boost your mods? Well, okay, the so that gives us 1800. Fascination with it. Endo is look out for their huge. Sculptures. Those things run on Endo. If you don't want the ornaments for your ship, well. I can extract the endo from them. The more complete the sculpture, the more endo I can extract. Just keep in mind, I keep the leftovers, okay? So we Come got 2,230 endo, that's great. Okay, so LTO Nathan is ready, so we go to his dojo. 
We'll do this trade. Oh. Meditation. That which can be destroyed by the truth should be. Nice, we've ended up inside of his uh, railjack. Which is a uh, spacefaring ship. It's quite nice. I like the way it looks a little bit worn too, a bit tattered. It looks very realistic. You know, as far as a uh, sci-fi spaceship can look. Being realistic. I like it. I'm not sure how to get out though. <laughs> well, I am enjoying the scenery. Lunar gladiators. That must be their clan, is it? Oh yes, if you appear on the railjack, fast travel to the vault. Okay, so escape, fast travel, vault. Alright, here we are. No, nope, not that one. Have to find his trading station. There we go, he's trading with me. So I'm going to give him 12, just because we had a bit of a mess around getting hooked up, so just said for your trouble. <laughs> Alright, so let's pick those up. So I pick up three just, you know, because you don't always get what you want, so you, you might have to crack a few of them. I think three is kind of a safe number. I suppose if you're really tight on Endo, you could just do them. Uh, sorry, if you're tight on uh, Platinum, you could just do them one at a time. So, uh, so I've got three here. I want to upgrade them with Void Traces because I want to make sure I get the the rare drop inside this relic. You can see the Redeemer Prime handles right down the bottom there. It's a rare drop. So if we upgrade it. There we go. I've upgraded it to Radiant. It's 100 Void Traces. That just gives me a, a far better chance of getting that rare drop. So let's crack. Let's crack it open. That's a Neo Relic. Select the Radiant. Yep, that's what we want. We want the gold rewards, baby. What do we get? Neo I2. I can scroll down, it's not letting me scroll down. Death Cube Prime Carapace. It's not what we want. So uh, let's upgrade the next one. I've got some more Void Traces from another mission. You really want to upgrade these if you're going to crack these expensive relics. Give yourself the best chance you can. Back to the Neo Defense on Europa. Radiant. Ah, I picked up another Aeten sculpture. More endo for me, baby. That's a nice find. You're still in the clear. No detection from enemy sensors. Okay, so we didn't get anything out of that relic, really. So let's do the last one. Been a bit disappointing so far. We've got some more radiant. Uh, we've got some more uh, void traces. Last chance for the Redeemer Prime handle. Third time's the charm. To the miso cracking defense again radiant and we got nothing we got the buzzer prime receiver <laughs> okay thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next episode